I love this really weird Terrence Malick movie called The Tree of Life. Have you seen it? It covers basically all of time, and there's like a part about dinosaurs, and it also stars Brad Pitt. There's this line in it though. It's something like, there's two paths, the way of nature and the way of grace. The concept is simple, go your own way or go the way of grace. I love because <laughs> even if they didn't mean it that way, it's a very biblical concept. We're born towards nature, living the way we want, telling people to be what we want, manipulating others, trying to have everything be our way. But there's a different way, the way of grace. Grace is giving someone what they don't deserve. God is the most gracious being the world has ever known. Every day the world wakes up and deserves punishment, death, judgment, fire, destruction. And every day God gives rain, love, blessings, and a way to get to him. The way is Jesus, and it's the way of grace. A unilateral, undeserved gift to all people, of all time, of all backgrounds, of all creeds, of all ages and genders and peoples. Psalm 103 verse 8 says, The Lord is merciful and gracious. He's slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is gracious. God is gracious. He doesn't give you what you deserve. He gives you a freedom and a hope and a way. That's grace. It's in God's character and it's endlessly found in Jesus Christ. In John 1 it says of Jesus, For from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Grace upon grace. like. What's better than a cheeseburger, a double cheeseburger? What's better than watching National Treasure, watching National Treasure 1 and 2? Just kidding, that movie is awful. It's hard to compare anything to grace upon grace because it's so amazing and undeserved and wonderful. God's graciousness to you is a part of your life whether you know it or not. Every day is grace, every bite of food is grace, every breath is grace, every moment is grace from Him because God is gracious and that is an awesome thing about God.